Okay, this week we're going to talk about grace notes and accents. Now, the first start, the beginning of this lesson, we're going to deal with grace notes, which are basically the most quietest note you can make. I do quite a lot of work on this because it's quite difficult to play quietly and control your volume whilst you're thinking about other things like, for instance, reading your music. So I do a lot of work to make sure that my sticks can play as quietly as possible when I need to without me having to think too much about it. So we're going to start with eight on each hand. Now it's almost the opposite of the beginning exercise of open strike where we're using lots of muscle power. This time we're using almost minimal muscle power to create the smallest strike we possibly can and the lightest as well. Um, it's almost like a twitch. It's not a twitch, but it almost feels like a twitch because it's such a small movement. So we'll do eight on each hand. One, two, three, four. Okay, so th that's the beginning. That's not really what we're going to do as a practice um, because that's very slow, but at least it introduces us to the technique. So as we speed up, I like to uh, make them longer on each hand. So I think of it in triplets. So I would do eight lots of triplets. That's eight lots of three. So it would be Da 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 three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a eight and a on each hand. So we'll do that now, but there's no accent on the actual uh, drum at all. Any accent is only in your mind, not with the stick. Every single strike is the same minuscule height. Okay, so one and a two and a three and a four and a. Okay, so now we're going to do that a few times, but we're going to increase the speed. So one and a two and a three and a four and a five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we must remain as relaxed as possible at all times, as, as, as we always do. Uh, if you feel you're getting tense, then it's a good idea to either stop and, sh and shake your arms out a bit, uh, do, some, do some exercises just to get the blood flowing again, and to loosen up your muscles. Or if it's just on the edge of tension, if just tension's just starting to creep in, then just bring the tempo back right back really slow so that you can relax while still playing. That's actually a really good way of developing speed is to push yourself to when you feel tension and then bring it back to, so that you relax again. Okay? Now, the next part of this lesson we're going to introduce an accent. So. In order to differentiate between the grace notes and the accents, I like to play four notes, four strikes. Now the first one of those strikes is going to be accented and the rest are going to be the grace notes that we've just covered. So basically the accent is created by a higher stick height. 
So if we're using our grace notes at this kind of height, then we're probably going to accent at about two to three inches. So we'll do it nice and slowly. Again, we'll do eight lots of four on each hand. So three, four. Okay, that's good. That's one round of that exercise. Now, whilst we're playing that exercise, we want to stay relaxed, as, as I keep saying. Also, make sure that your sticks are in the same place um, all the time, roughly, and that they're going up and down vertically. Uh, it's quite easy to bring your stick in at, at an angle, unintentionally, um, like that. It's also possible to, to sort of go in circles, which that's exaggerated, but we want to avoid that. We want to be completely vertical in both the accent stroke and the grace note stroke. Now the accent is literally just a wrist movement, similar to open strike, but there's virtually no there's a little bit of condensed power in there to, to give it that extra kick, but it's much more relaxed than open strike movement. Right, so let's let's do that again. We'll do it a little bit faster. Da, 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 da. Three, four. Okay, that's that bit done. Now the final part of this exercise is a development of what we've already done. Accenting every the first of every four notes is not a particularly, I don't find that particularly useful um, later on as, as our technique develops. So I reduce that to three, which I still still practice regularly, and also two. Uh, which is more important as we'll talk about next week. So yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually play what we were thinking when we were playing the grace notes in the first part of this lesson. So it's going to be eight lots of three on each hand in a similar way that we played the groups of four, but now we're accenting the first of every three note. So one and two and three and four and
Okay, so that's groups of threes, which is a good exercise to practice regularly to help to differentiate between accent strokes and grace notes. Now, we're going to extend this now and play two groups of two, accented and grace note. Okay, so this time, because there's so few strikes, I like to do 16 on each hand. Um, so it's 16 lots of two. And we'll start slowly. Hang on. <laughs> da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you might find this a little bit more difficult because instead of ha being able to settle into the grace notes when you're playing th three after an accent or two after an accent, we're literally playing accent grace note, accent grace note. So it's a bit more tricky. So don't worry if you find this a bit more difficult, but make sure you concentrate on keeping that second note as a grace note, a quiet note. So we'll do it a few times and increase the speed. One and two and three and four and might have been going a little bit fast then and I was starting to tense up so don't do that okay good excellent stay relaxed at all times Probably have to cut this bit out because it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>